right, guys, this is going to be kind of a War Machine 101 and also kind of a bout report. So in a War Machine 101, what I like to do is have these situations where I present a situation, I talk about the different options, and what I feel would be the best option. And so this one here, this will be a game between myself and my brother, and it's not really worth it as a bout report because it was a very fast game, but there was a lot of thought to it, so I thought it would be a good one for this. So in this situation here... I am running a Gordon list. He has Earthbreaker. Gaston has the Galleon. This is Highborn, so I have the Gun Mage there with UA. I have the Tactical Arcanus Core. Uh, Thor's here. Tinker's here. McNail's here. And that's really it. I mean, the list isn't that big. We don't have two models. His side over there, he is running Gaspy 3. Uh, Fixius 3. Not a caster you see very often but one that can be very interesting with a lot of different buffs that he needs for damage or defense and he has raiders up front he's running canker worm there's mechanothralls there's blood witches there's the the, the cab there on the left there's a siren there's all these really nasty things in the list here and clearly uh the one here, the, the Gordon list, is very outnumbered. So something that's going to be very dangerous. And uh, another problem here is a lot of the damage output, it has to do with these AoEs. And uh, yeah, those raiders are immune to blast damage. So running through to get to the situation I want to talk about, he gets first turn, he runs up, he puts Ash and Veil up onto the raiders. So on my turn here, there's not really much I can do. I can go up a little bit. Uh, the gun mages try and shoot and kill a few of the raiders. Otherwise, I don't want to get up too far with the galleon, because if I do, it'll get charged by the raiders, and then the feedback will go back and kill Gaston. That'd be really bad. Um, the Earthbreaker, which is actually slower than the Galleon, gets up a little bit further. I put up a wall, throw out a little bit of clouds out there and some rough terrain, just because why not? And that's really it. Alright, now this is the slide I really want to get to because this is going to be the situation which was really all the thought. He, on his turn, goes and he upkeeps the Ashen Veil and then just jams. Everything runs into me. Uh, Aphyxius 3 goes on to the flag and then everything moves up. Uh, one of the things you can't see is that underneath the claw of uh, the Galleon is the Canker Worm. So that's there right in front of me causing some order of activation issues and as well on the left side for the earthbreaker the siren is there at maximum reach saying hey if you want to walk away and take your free strike go ahead but you're going to be shadow bound so uh keep that in mind so given this guys this is our situation what are we going to do to try and deal with this well first thing because it'll be a fast one is scenario can i go up and win on scenario and the easy answer is no there i can barely do anything uh to try and get one point so scenario let's just cross that right off number two assassination not looking very good there's a lot of models in the way a lot of order of activation issues and gatsby is on a hill he is camping a whole bunch the odds of that are remote so we're going to skip that now too as well so if we can't win on Scenario, and we can't win on the uh, Caster Kill, Clock is not going to be an issue here for him. Well, how about the Attrition? Well, okay, the Attrition is probably going to be based around Gorton, because I'm going to need to lower his defense. So Gorton's going to need to go, and so we're going to have four different options we're going to look at. Pulling him towards me, because the way his feet works, I pick a board edge, and then all models within that area get to move 0 to 8 toward that board edge, and then they're minus 3 defense, minus 3 speed, can't give orders. Pretty cool feat, and I need that minus 3 uh, defense part for sure if I'm going for attrition. So my options will either be pulling him towards my board edge, the left one, the right one, or the far one. So let's first talk about pulling him towards my board edge. Well, really, if I do that, I'm probably moving him zero. Here's here's the like little problem here. On the right side, if I pull those raiders towards me, that's horrendous. They're all bunched together, so AoEs would be awesome, but they're immune to blast damage, and then they'd be engaging me. I'm also moving to, them to a wall, so that's really bad. On the left side, that could actually work out if I move those... Uh, 
whatever the the cav towards me hey the earthbreaker could actually get to them i could maybe kill off three of the models or four if i get lucky and hey that could work very well so that kind of works but the problem with this is if i'm pulling things towards me i have to remember that on his turn he's going to be way up on scenario because he's already on the flag so on my turn if i don't contest it which is going to be very hard because i don't really have any throwaway models to get up there he'll score on my turn on his turn he'll score again on his own flag he can destroy my objective score on my flag and be up at four points and that would just be game over so pulling him towards me really not gonna work okay well how about moving him to the left let's look at that one well that'd be a little bit weird i'd move all these raiders kind of like to the left and out of the way uh some of these cow would be bumping into the either my earthbreaker or into the objective other ones moving to the side uh that would really kind of help so that i could maybe start going with my gun mages and shooting them up uh, of course if i move them too far they might start engaging my tactical arcanist core so that wouldn't really help but that would kind of move them there to the left i could try and shoot some of them up uh that would free up at least some of my gun mages but the problem with moving things left is that still too many would be engaged uh with those couple of witches that are there they can't really move the ones are on the wall so they're still gonna be engaging for my gun mages for sure so they're actually not gonna get very much work done which means like maybe the galleon would have to try and kill one and try and free something up or something but it's just not gonna work very well so again that doesn't look like an option that's gonna work again i'm not getting to his flag scenario looking bad blah 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 what if i move things to the right well okay a lot of his cab would hit into the statue i could probably go up a little bit and try and get up there with the the earthbreaker but not really because again his siren would move across and be in my way and with order of activations it'd be very hard for the earthbreaker to make it anywhere meanwhile on the right as i slide these things to the right i'm still having a whole bunch of my gun mages engaged they're not going to get a lot of work done i can't get up the field and again scenario going to be very bad so out of the three directions we talked about all of them have said no i can't do it because his scenario game will just out attrition me so okay we have one last option what if i push him back to his board edge this does two awesome things one frees me up because it pushes him away from me uh and also lowers his defense and then allows me to move up the board and then with that as well with the feet because of the minus three speed and no orders he can't really get to me so that could be a really good option but to get the most from it i need to get gordon up uh really what he'd want to be doing is say charging that one cav model by the statue popping feet and doing it then but that canker worm this is where the canker worm is going to be coming into a massive role and that's going to be kind of the death to this plan uh i can't come over and deal with it with the earthbreaker because he'll get shadow bound the galleon might be able to work on it but then he's not getting any forward momentum whatsoever he's going to stop right there and that's even if it even works this is a long shot whether the galleon can even deal with that canker worm so not looking very good and the main thing let's even say the the galleon does work okay i do that i go up and i feet move things back the gun mages either have to attrition and shoot or run to go up and get that flag so that's not looking really great uh and then when he comes back it's it's just not gonna work again that attrition game is not gonna work a lot of his things won't go back as much as i'd like and it's just not going to work because of that canker worm just the order of activations i'm losing a whole colossal just to kill a little canker worm so looking at this we said scenario is a write-off the assassination very very unlikely and the attrition not going to work because of his scenario position so okay that's really bad uh if if you don't have any good options you have to go with your least bad option and that's going to be the assassination so if we need to assassinate gatsby how are we going to make this happen well again the feat is going to be pivotal 
I could either try and get up and find a way to drag Gatsby towards me, and that'd be great because he'd be off the hill, he'd be minus defense, but if I pull him towards me, there's just too many models in a way, and really, the way that I need this to end is that the Galleon's going to shoot him and drag him in, hit him, get a big boost, and uh, hope to kill him with the spike. So, really, the best way for me to do this then is to just go up their feet, move things to the right, clear out as much as I can, uh, one of the things that's going to really help here is that the Blood Witch has popped their mini feet, so they're in Corporal, so I can actually drag Gatsby through them. Uh, probably the most pain in the ass model will be the Stitch Thrall up there, but hey, the Galleon has its little side turret guns, it can try and shoot down the Stitch Thrall first, and then go for the drag for Gatsby. So, overall, the odds of this working are very, very small. Uh, I need to hit Gatsby, I need to wound Gatsby, drag him in, and then I need some to keep on hitting him and spiking damage. So, let's call it a 3% assassination, but it's probably my best shot. So, that's what I go for. I make a wall so that the cab won't get in the way with Gorton. I pop feet, move things out of the way, Gordon moves out of the way. Uh, McNail does his thing, gives it artillerist, does his mini feet. Uh, the little side guns kill off the stitch roll, just like I need. Then I shoot with the harpoon, and I miss. And that's it. The whole thing's over. Uh, he could kill Gordon, he could go in scenario, he could do whatever he wanted. It's going to be really bad. So, that's what I'm saying, guys. As a bow report, this was... A joke, right? There's nothing here. Uh, basically, it'd be like, hey, he runs up, I fail in assassination, I lose. So, as a battle report, it was nothing. But as a War Machine 101, this is one that you had to put a lot of thought into. And say, hey, what can I do with this? We're in a really bad situation. We're completely jammed out. He's going to win on scenario. And you have to kind of realize that if attrition is just not going to work for you, well, then you have to go for that assassination. The assassination might be really remote, but hey, 3% larger than 0%. So either way, guys, this is the War Machine 101 and slash bell report. Uh, if maybe you, I missed something, maybe you guys will say, hey, you should have done this and it could have worked out better. I'd love to hear that. So post that down below and we'll catch you later. Bye.